Wesley Laurendeen of the Shaw Eagles. Uh, I tell you one thing, a long time coming. Shaw Eagles finally beating the St. Augustine Purple Knights. What you can say about that? I know it's a long time coming as you as a coach, but also for that alumni. Yeah, man, I mean, for, for our whole school, it's a big day today, just in general, you know, and, and to be able to do something that we, I mean, I can't remember the last time that they beat them, and, and it just feels good. Look, we couldn't make it easy. We had our chances to put them away, and we they just credit them. They just kept hanging around, hanging around. But for our kids, for our community, this is, this is huge. I know it's huge for you guys, and I know at the end it got a little shaky. was a little nervous. I know you thought about last year what happened with the, with the last quarter, but you made some big plays and made some small ones to – Get it done at the end. Look, at the end of the game, we want the ball in, in, in Cameron, Isaiah Sands, to put, put the game away. They do it for us all year long, and uh, they make some big free throws at the end for us, and we, we know they're going to make it. I know you had some foul trouble and everything from, from um, Bridges and all, and, all, and all your other players, but they stepped up for you, made some huge plays. Rodney on the post, I mean, so big. And the rebounds was very, very key for your team, too. Only thing we talked about was making sure they didn't have second chance opportunities. And we didn't do a great job of it, but we did just enough, you know. And because we know that we, it's, a, it's not a great matchup for us, you know, it's just not. So uh, we did just enough tonight. I'm just glad we got out of the way. What you can say, 3 0 for Shaw in the district. 4 0. 4 0. I'm sorry, 4 0. Yeah, I forgot about that. Rummel, Jesuit, Brother Martin. Now say no. What you can say undefeated in the district now? We need to get two more. We go six and zero, and then continue on from there. That's I mean that's all I'm talking about. Like, four and zero is great, but we're just not satisfied. Absolutely, and then, and I, and I tell you, last Cat League championship for this team, I believe, might be ninety seven. I think nineteen ninety seven. So, what you could say to being a couple steps closer to trying to get there? Right, I'm not even thinking about that right now. It's one of our goals as a team for sure. But we got uh, Holy Cross on Friday, and that's kind of what I'm thinking. What you can take from tonight going into Holy Cross, and the Holy Cross is pretty tough. I'll tell you what, Holy Cross, they play hard. If I had to pick one team in the whole Catholic League right now that's playing hard, it's Holy Cross. So we got, you know, we, they come to our house, and, uh, you know, we've been pretty successful there this year, so hopefully we can get a win. Wesley Laurendine of the Shaw Eagles, congratulations. Huge victory and a historic win for the Shaw Eagles. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.